Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be looking at this little module. It's a distortion module that lets you tweak its character and color. I reached out to Neutral Labs a while back to see if they wanted to sponsor some videos and they sent me the Nigel and Pip. You can check out the Pip video. I already made that one, it's linked up there. Thanks so much Neutral Labs, I really appreciate it. So the reason I reached out to them is I really like to promote some of these DIY kits. I think it's a great way to approach Hero Rack. This one in particular is super dirt cheap. It's probably, if you wanna get distortion in your rack, I think this is probably the cheapest way to go and it sounds pretty good too. I had such an easy time building these, it's a lot of fun. And I think Neutral Labs has a kind of cool style so I actually went out and bought a couple more of their kits the Meg and Scrat, and I'm gonna be doing videos on those soon, so make sure you subscribe so you can get notified when those come out. Just a quick plug for my Patreon page, I give away a DIY module once a month, so if you're interested in being a part of that fun, check out my Patreon page, the link is below, and make sure to sign up for tier three and you can be entered into the drawings. So the Nigel is a pretty simple module. This video is gonna go by really quick. I'll show you ways you can tweak its sound and what it sounds like. And then at the end of the video, I recorded myself putting it together so you can watch a time lapse with me explaining how I did it. And you can see just how absolutely easy this module is to put together. It'd be great beginner module. So if you've never built a module and you wanna try your hand at soldering, this would be a great one to check out. All right, with all that said, let's head over to the rack and see what this thing can do. Okay, so I got Nigel right here. As you can see, it's ridiculously simple. There's an input and there's an output, and that's it. This one knob controls how much drive it gets, and of course, you can control it with CV as well. So first, before I do anything, let's just hear what it sounds like. I have a pretty simple sequence with a big kick drum going. This is what it sounds like. That's just a saw wave coming out of just a regular old oscillator. I'm gonna slowly turn up the drive so you can hear what it sounds like with, no, with none of the uh, color altering stuff going on. So as you can hear, it sounds really great, just even without anything else happening. Um, I really I really like the drive. When you crank it up with nothing going on, you can kind of hear, hear it going on in the background. Some noise and stuff. So let's talk a little bit about how you can shape the character with this. And I mean, in some ways I kind of felt like a little bit of a mad scientist. I don't really know what I'm doing here. There were some suggestions in the box for, for just plugging in components. And in fact, it did send a few extra components like this. Let's see if you can see it. Um, just resistors and things like that. There's uh, some LED lights and a uh, photosensitive uh, photo sen resistor that you can use to plug in. I went out and purchased these things. Let me just get them in focus. These are the, uh, they're called nuts, and you can order them from Thonk for, I think they're, they were like 10 bucks or 10 pounds. Um, you know, so not expensive. They came all together as four of them. And these chips you can use to plug in here to alter the sound. And they work with some of other, Neutral Labs, other stuff too. Like I think Scrat has, um, some plugs that you can use these as well. So let's go ahead and plug in some of these things and see what happens. Now, if you notice, you can see PSGSP, and that's for if you want to send whatever you're sending, um, whatever component you're adding in. If you want it to go parallel to the circuit or in series, you can go from the P to the S and the S to the P. So if you notice here, like I'm just gonna go ahead and shove in this LED. And when we, this is going into the parallel circuits, the P and the P, and when I turn it on, So you can 
can see that it starts to affect things. And here's a resistor. I'm gonna go ahead and shove this in as well. And this is really fun. I don't really know what a lot of these things do. So it's just kind of nice to just experiment and see what happens. Um, so that's in parallel as well. So you can kind of hear when you put in the resistor in parallel, it, it tames the distortion a little bit. So let me stick it back in. And as I turn it up, you'll notice that it's tamed down. And then when I pull it out, you'll, you'll hear the full uh, force of the overdrive. So that's kind of fun. Uh, they did also send this light sensitive resistor and I'm here, let's plug that in. I'll send that in parallel as well. This one too, I think if I shine a light on it, like if I go from my phone, that's kind of cool. It's just kind of fun to mess around with this stuff. But let's take a look at some of the nuts that came with it. They're, uh, they are all named after actual nuts. So there's cashew, almond, acorn, and pecan or pecan, whichever you say. I say pe pecan, but... Acorn definitely tames this thing quite a bit. And you can notice even when the acorn's plugged in, you don't get as much of that noise when you turn it all the way up. So there must be some type of like resistor in that. This one, which is the, the pecan or pecan, depending on where you live for how you pronounce it. And this one adds some kind of higher tones. It almost sounds like if you were to turn the resonance up on a filter. And then of course you can combine them. So let's go ahead and throw the acorn back in too to get some of that noise out of there. And of course, this is without anything going on right now. I'm not doing anything to the sound. There's no reverb or anything like that. I'll, I'll put on some re reverb in a second. This is the almond. That's kind of cool. You get that little clicky sound up high. That's cool too when you start combining them. And if I just add a little bit of reverb on,
So it's really cool. I mean, for such a small module that is so cheap, it really just fills out the sound. Um, and definitely, I think it's worth it to go ahead and get these nuts with it. It's fun to play around with the little uh, components and everything, just to kind of see what happens. But this really, to me, just adds a lot to the module. So definitely check it out. Um, this is the Nigel and make sure to get the extra nuts that you can, that are an option from Thonk. Okay, so here's a quick walkthrough of the build. This is what it comes with. It's got some cool stickers and here are all the components. So you'll notice on this PCB, the, all the SMD stuff, all the little tiny things are already done for you. So I mean, this is a, such an easy build. It's super short too. It's basically just a few couple jacks, uh, one knob and a few jumpers, but that's it. All right, so first we're gonna put on these jumpers and this little screw that kind of holds everything together. There's nothing really tricky about this at all. It's pretty straightforward, but it's good to see this stuff sometimes. Make sure when you're putting on this uh, knob that you cut off the little nub so that it all goes on flush. And uh, it, it describes this in the directions pretty well too. But right now I'm just connecting everything. I'm not soldering anything yet, uh, just to make sure everything fits and is all flush. And now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and solder it. I like to use this, like a roll of tape or something some people have like the helping hand stuff, but this works fine for me for modules most of the time. So it's a neat little trick. All right, right here, this is where we plug in all the little components. And the one thing you want to keep in mind is you want it to be flush to the top. So that's why I'm putting this tape on. You stick it in, you put the tape on, then you push it back through so that it's even with the top. And then you can go ahead and solder one piece, one of the leads. You can make sure that everything's lined up all right, and then just solder the rest of them on. If you didn't do this little tape trick, then it would be pushed in too far. So there's two of those, and that's going to be the last step. I think from beginning to end, the building this I mean, maybe 20 minutes or so it's really doesn't take long so there you go now we just have to cut off the leads and put on the knob and we'll be all set make sure to tighten everything up of course and that's it so there you have it. That's the Neutral Labs Nigel. Make sure to like and subscribe so you can see more modules from Neutral Labs and, and of course, just other videos. Check out my Patreon page if you want to get entered into the drawing for a DIY module. I do it once a month. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.